Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use magic motion from this tool, Framer, that is a free prototyping tool for team. It's very similar to Figma or Adobe XD. At the beginning I saw it's a plugin for Figma, but at the end we can say that Framer is could be used a standalone from beginning to the end to create amazing prototyping example as you can see in this video. So now you can see that uh, the main focus of this tool is the animation. So if you want is to achieve a fast mockup, maybe it's better use sketch or other prototyping tools because Framer, the main focus of this one is to create amazing animation and because of that today we are going to see some of the examples that are available on the platform as you can see here in the section example we have a bunch of Example of each functionality, magic motion, overlays, component. We're going to see how to use them in this series. So we start with magic motion. Now let's start with the uh, image gallery 2. So to see this example in action, we have to go to the preview tap the button and we can see the result now in this example we can see how it's transition from those button to, to those screens now let's see how we can do that first we are going to use frame or with the shortcut F then we can select our phone, tablet, or we can just click one of those to create in this position. Now to create something like that, we need this stack or with shortcut S. So we are going to create one here. We put it in the middle then on the right tool panel we can change the direction of the stack in this guy we are going to change this to vertical now to create a item as you can see drop item we can do in this way go to frame then create a one inside the stack. Now we want change a little the radius to 26. Then we are going to create the AB part. To do that we need another stack but this time we want it in horizontal. So we create another, then we go to stack to check that the direction is horizontal. Now we are going to drag in another frame, but this time inside this second one. And here we are. I also want to change the radius. To 26 then I'm going to copy this and paste or with the shoulder ctrl C and ctrl V if you're using Windows and command or option I don't remember on the max 
so I'm going to reduce so it can align with those button. Now that we have those created, we can assign them color as above. To do that, we are going to choose the button, open the field, copy the color, choose the bottom one, and paste the color. Do the same thing with all the other buttons. So now that we have done, we are going to create the other frames. So we are going to add them and copy and paste them. And we are going to do the same thing. So we choose the card, choose the color, copy the color and paste on our ones. And here we are. For the text, we can use the text button and write something, or we can just copy from the above. So I'm going to, ch to choose the text, copy it, and paste. Maybe we can copy the A, copy the B, and copy the C. Now, an important thing to do for this magic motion effect is that we have, as we can read here, for the transition, we need to name them in the same way. So, as you can see in the sample, it's called card A that is equal to card A of the first frame. So, in our first, first one, we can call this frame. We can call it uh, a unique name such as triple A, and we need to change also this to triple A because they match 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 up. So I'm going to do with the B and with the C. Now we need to connect them. So we select the first one, we connect, and we can see we added the interaction that we can see here. We choose tap, target, this frame, and type magic motion. So make sure that we check them, and then we do with the other button. To come back, just select the frame and make an arrow that come back. And we are ma making this also with the second and third one. Now let's check the results. To do that, we select the frame to start and then go to preview. And now let's see that we have the same result as the example. This is the example. And we have the same result. Well done. Now let's check another example. In this one, tag menu, we are going to learn something new. So let's check the sample. In this one, we are making compare three buttons from nowhere and it also changed the state of the button. So now let's see how to do that. The first thing as we see in the previous example is to add frame with the F shortcut and click in the space. Now we are going to add a new circle button. To create a circle, it's very easy. We start with the frame that is rectangle. Now we are going to drag it to the middle. And we are going also to give a color to our main button. To add an icon, we don't need to go outside. We just go to insert or with the shortcut I, then we type here icon and select in the default component icon sets. Insert. 
One thing that I don't like about it is that if you want change icon, you have to select a text. It's better if it allow you to select uh, actually a icon thumbnail instead of this. It also don't allow you to search for them, so you have to drag or scroll and select them in this way that I don't like. Now we turn back to so I hope that they implement this in the future. We come back to our project and we are going to create those three. Instead of create them, I'm going to copy so I can go faster for this example. I'm going to make more we are going to make them more visible, so we are going to give them a violet color then we are going to make a copy of this so in the second one we have all of them open it in the first one we are going to hide them to do that we are going to move them from the beginning where they are going to uh, compare and go to opacity where we are going to reduce to zero and do the same thing with the others one so opacity to zero and move them here if we check we move them all inside round that isn't what we wanted so we are going to move them out and put the button in the first side so we have all those three behind the first button. Now in the second one, as we can see, the button price changed to X. It's very really easy to make. Just make sure that we have the same name and make all the modification that you want. So we can rotate them, make the size smaller and change the color. Now we are going to connect them. So when the button is tap, it connects to the second one, and when the second one is tap, it comes back to the first one. Now let's check the result. And here we have our sample made. Now let's see one last example. In this one, we have a card list. So let's check the result. The end result shows us a scroll where we can tap on one of those cards that open another screen. Then tap to come back. Now let's see how to do that. The first thing is to create a frame. I'm going to move this in this position and now we are going to create also those three screen to go faster in this tutorial I'm just going to copy the three one from the example because mainly those we are to create them we just know how to do that I show you in the previous example so in this one, I'm going to focus on the new of this one, that is the scroll content, how to make this scrollable. To do that, we need the scroll. So I'm going to here, I'm going to create this. As you can read, scroll, click and drag the connector to any frame on the canvas. How to do that? You can see that we can we have the the a scroll content. So we need to create that with stack. So we are going to create here the stack where we are going to insert our content. And each card will be created with frame. 
So I'm going to create a frame inside this stack. Then I'm going to create some radius to create this rounded border. Then I'm going to select the stack. I'm going to add some gap a padding. Before that, make sure that we have the cards that we want. And for this sample, I'm going to create three cards. We're going to increase some padding and some gaps. It looks good. Now, to assign this to this one, we need to go to this button, drag to the stack, and here we are. Maybe we can drag to the end of the screen, and now we can change the color. So select the card one, select the color, go to the card, and do the same thing with the second one and with the third one. Now let's see what we made. So we have to select uh, to start here and we make it scrollable. And now the last job is to connect them. To do that, we have to have the same name. So we are going to copy the card one and paste them in the respective card. So card three to card three. Now we have only one thing left to do that is to connect them. We select the card and connect with the respective screen. And we also want to add a comeback. So make sure that comeback to iPhone 11 and not the stack. And now let's check the result. Select the iPhone 11 from where we want to start and then check the result. And here we are. This is our hope you learned something new in this video. And um, thank you for watching till the end. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.